Hey, good people, Tara Body here. Just wanted to share a little quick message with you. Um, a lot of times, a lot of my clients in therapy tell me that they struggle to maintain relationships or even to get ones. Let's start with that. Um, and they don't know why, they're totally confused. And so the first place I go to with them is, well, let me, I need to understand your definition for grace and how you issue grace to people. And they're like, you know, what do you mean? I said, um, do you understand that everybody on the planet is an imperfect being? Everybody on the planet has the potential to disappoint you, make mistakes, mess up, or they have bad training from dysfunctional families or where they didn't know how to love. They don't know how to be in relationships. They don't understand reciprocity. Um, they may have grown up by selfish people or been taught that way. So they don't know when they're out here amongst regular everyday people now in their adult lives, how to actually maintain friendships and how to behave in one. So you're meeting good people with bad, bad training, bad experiences, and it's going to come up when they meet you. When they met you, they probably were really nice and you saw really just a great personality. But then as the friendship progressed, you saw some mistakes or some areas for, for growth and some challenges in them. How do you handle that when that comes up? Because knowing that people are imperfect and have the ability to disappoint us, we have to be ready to issue grace. If you don't have any grace, you're just going to keep dismissing people. Setting people free. I guess they're not meant for me. I guess I don't need to be with them. No, you need to talk to them and say, hey, uh, you don't know me yet and a lot about me. So I want to tell you some things about me so that you can start to learn the code for loving me. The code for being in friendship with me. And this works in any relationship, not just friendships. This works in romantic relationships, marriages, where you say, I got some stuff that when certain things are done, it creates a negative response in me, a negative reaction. It's something that I'm working on, but in the meantime, when you didn't call me back, didn't text me, didn't see me, uh, didn't show up for me, um, whatever it was, it created a negative response in me. And I want you to know, I want to hear your, your heart on that because I don't believe it's your heart. I don't believe you intentionally wanted to hurt me, disappoint me, or made me feel that way. See, that's one of the most important steps is to accept the best in people. It's to, 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 to expect the best in people. To say that I don't believe you were trying to hurt me. Because there's no reason for you to do that. <laughs> we just start walking together or we've been walking together so long. Why would I assume it is your daily goal to tear me down? To hurt me? To leave me over here feeling destitute? I, it's not your goal in life. So me knowing that's not your goal, let me tell you what this thing did. Let me tell you what that situation did to me. So tell me where your heart was in that. And you allow them to tell you where their heart was, that it wasn't their intentions. And you say, okay, good. So now I can extend grace to you. And now they also know a part of you to say, I'm not going to do that again because I don't want them thinking that way. I'm going to be more careful with their heart. I'm going to be more careful with how I speak to them, how I communicate with them, how I connect with them. See, this is how you build a relationship. You don't sit in silence being resentful and say, okay, I'm going to get them about five more times and then I'm just out. Or I only gave them one good time and I'm out. Okay, you're going to be lonely. You're going to be without friends. You're not going to keep anybody close and connected with you. Yes, there are times that seasons change and you may not be as close to a person, but it shouldn't be the friendship was just severed over something silly or crazy or a mistake somebody made. No, you still need to walk in grace, even though we may not connect with each other as frequently. I don't need to be mad at you. I don't need to be resentful at you because there may be another season where we might work, um, walk closely again together. If we didn't depart in a negative way, some people, you have no grace for people, none. You look for people to mess you over. You look for people to harm you and hurt you. Won't say a word out of your mouth to them about it. And you just jet out and get out because you'd rather just be by yourself than to have anybody disappoint you. Uh, that doesn't make sense because everybody's going to disappoint you. Everybody has the capacity. I don't care who they are, family, friends, because none of us are working perfect. None of us are perfect. All of us have a capacity to have a bad day, to hurt someone, to make a mistake. And if you are not looking at your own self, 
because you also have that capacity and have hurt people, traumatized them, disappointed them, and you wanted grace and you probably wasn't given that grace. You probably wasn't given it. So you don't give grace to other people either. And what does that start? A cycle of dysfunction, a cycle of loneliness. So don't follow the people in your life that didn't give you grace. Follow people that you know consistently give out grace to people because those are the people that have relationships. They have friendships. They maintain them for a while, for a long time because they don't hold on to anything. Don't hold on to stuff. It actually makes your heart very heavy. It distracts you. It sits things on your brain and your mind and your memory that really don't need to be there. Let people live. Yes, people are going to people, but get ready to get them grace. And if you talk to them enough and you tell a person, these are the things that are not going well, and they ignore you because they don't feel like changing all of that, then you still have a decision. Well, is the friendship worth me keeping them around and me dealing with these little isms they have? If it is, keep going. If it's not, say, all right, I just can't handle that part of you. I love you, but I just can't handle that part because it really, really messes with me. And you send them on their way with love and blessings <laughs> and say, if you ever figure that part about out, Holla at me again another day. But until then, we're good. And there's no need to hold resentfulness and animosity, y'all. Life is too short. Life is too short for us to do that. So I hope this helps somebody today. Work on your grace for people. Expect that they are not all the way there. They're not all the way healed. They're not all the way groomed for love and, and support. But they could learn it through you. They could learn vulnerability through you. They could love support learn support through you and you can learn something from them too. I hope he helped you today. Y'all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.